It is happening, people. About a year and a half, two years ago, I said Frisco is going to become the center of DFW and my people. It is happening now. The future is now. The conversation seems to entirely focus on Frisco and surrounding areas, right? So what is going on in Frisco that is making this happen? For years now, we've seen the development of commercial, restaurant, retail space. We saw the Ikea getting built. It was a big deal when the massive Ikea store was built. Then the Frisco Rough Riders came, minor league baseball, one of the most entertaining opportunities and outings in all of DFW right there in the heart of Frisco. Then we got the Dallas Stars hockey team practice facility. Then the Dallas Cowboys rolled up and built out the star, their practice facility, where lots of the Frisco high school football teams get to play their weekend football games. You've heard about Friday Night Lights in Texas. High school kids are playing their games where the Dallas Cowboys practice in an indoor stadium. This is all happening in Frisco. Then the PGA, golf, professional golf, has moved to Frisco, Texas. The headquarters, sort of a golf experience course, all that's happening right there and so much more. Theater venues, concert venues, shopping, malls, all the stuff. Residential growing like crazy. And now, my friends, now recently the announcement that Universal Studios, Universal Studios will be building a theme park targeted towards families and young kiddos in the Frisco area. Listen, the growth just keeps going. It's going north and it's going in almost every direction from Frisco. In addition to the things happening right there in the heart of Frisco, and we're going to come back to some of those in just a second and talk about why they mean as much as they do for the population, job, school, education, opportunity, economic growth of Frisco. But in addition to what's happening right inside the boundaries of Frisco, within minutes, you've got Toyota headquarters, you've got massive banking centers, you've got job centers, you've got Nebraska Furniture Mart and Shields and huge shopping and lifestyle destinations right in the area. You've got neighboring communities like McKinney blowing up, Salina, Prosper blowing up. So you've got the lake within a very, very, very short drive. So when we said, and now we double down on the idea that Frisco is becoming the center of DFW, what we mean literally is that there's so much growth to the north, northeast, northwest, where historically most of Dallas was to the south. We, we said people used to move to Frisco to commute down to Dallas, to drive in for entertainment and jobs and restaurants and things. Now, People are moving 30, 40 minutes north of Frisco, Sherman and other places to commute into Frisco, which is where we get this idea that Frisco itself is its own central hub, its own magnet, its own community that is now becoming the center. So we feel that things will continue to grow north and north and north all the way up to and potentially beyond the border at Texoma into Oklahoma, where Frisco is now at the moment the, if not one of the, but we feel like the driving force, the community where all the excitement is happening to create this massive growth north to where you could legitimately fly into North Texas from some other part of the country and Frisco may literally be at or near the center where you may go north for an hour or two and south for an hour or two and all of that be DFW or are we going to maybe start calling it DFFW for Dallas, Fort Worth, Frisco, Dallas, Frisco, Fort Worth, right? So we call these things MSAs, Metropolitan Statistical Areas. Right now it's called Dal Worthington, Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington is kind of the central location to the south. Frisco is more than made its mark as the central location to the north. So I don't know what we're going to call it. But it is happening. That's what's going on right now. Now, we start thinking about things like Universal Studios theme parks. We're talking about attracting jobs, vacation properties. We're talking about peripheral businesses, restaurants, entertainment, hotels, gas stations, all the things that come with an influx of tourism, uh, new residents. We're talking about housing supply issues. We're already at a shortage of housing Um, at the moment that this is being recorded. And I would expect that to create more pressure. Uh, Again, you're going to look at people buying up homes to create short-term vacation rental, Airbnb, VRBO type opportunities, development, 
for condos and townhomes and apartments and hotels. So all of those things coming just from that one development opportunity. Then we look at things like the rapidly growing PGA presence in Frisco. And you're talking about golf tournaments and training and equipping and destination environments there. You've got a minor league baseball team that we referenced earlier that is growing in popularity. Believe it or not, the season ticket sales for a minor league team, the Frisco Rough Riders, rival the professional team down in Arlington with the Texas Rangers. So the Dallas Star, the, the home of the Cowboys, is rapidly expanding both in residential, commercial, retail, there is so much going on in the Frisco area. There was a stretch of road that was called the Billion Dollar Mile for a while because there was over a billion dollars of development happening there. That's well beyond the three and four billion dollars invested in development still on that one stretch of road. Frisco is blowing up. You've got multiple companies bringing large headquarters there that are employing a lot of people. You have tourist attractions. You have um, a clean healthy, safe city that is a massive draw to a lot of people from outside of the market. And then you have kind of the critical mass has been reached where everything you could want in a community like that is there or nearby, not terribly far from DFW airport, hospitals and things like that are adequate, if not more than adequate. And so where Frisco was a suburb to the north, now it's become its own center and there are suburbs of it to the north, east and west of it. And then nearby, you have cities that almost everyone in the country knows well of, like Plano or McKinney. And of course, to the South Dallas, Southwest, Fort Worth, and to the North, you've got the state of Oklahoma. So you've got a lot going on in Frisco right now. And it seems like every single day, there's another announcement about a residential development, a new company bringing their headquarters here with lots of jobs, or now massive new tourism. We've had local teams that we referenced earlier, and the Cowboys are hardly local, a national brand, probably the most valuable brand in all of professional sports. And now you've got a brand like Universal Studios coming in just north of that. So we couldn't list them all. This would be an hour long video if we talked about all the reasons that Frisco is actively now becoming the center of the North Texas growth, development, excitement, population boom. And we'll probably keep updating this. So check it out, comment below, let us know what you think, what your questions are. We'll answer them and we'll keep letting you know what is happening in Frisco, Texas and surrounding areas.